Mark, this isn't an SCP video. What are you even doing? Shut up. I could do whatever the hell I want. Hello, my fellow traumatized grown adults still bewildered by the existence of sleep demons. Have you ever heard of a man that goes by the name of Trevor Henderson? If you haven't, <laughs> I have butt in bed, you stupid rat. Trevor Henderson is an illustrator who online is notable for his pretty unnerving horror art. His illustrations usually revolve around images with recurring characters sometimes placed in an obscure spot like a crackhead's rendition of Where's Waldo and sometimes placed right in front of your face, which has the potential to cancel you with life-altering PTSD just because you went a little too far in mentally processing how it must feel to be in this particular situation. Basically, you'd have to have the mind of a tardigrade to not find at least 45 of these images terrifying, definitely one of the main reasons why Trevor Henderson was able to achieve the fame he has now. His art is actually creepy and not a tentacle coomer's wet dream. One of his characters, of course it had to be one of his blander characters, was even able to get three entire video games and a viral TikTok memetic off of it. Freaking Dole and Dark and Grande had to make a meme out of the siren head to cater to their 99% r slash funny fan base. Hey! Hey, look at me! I'm gonna make it so that instead of Siren Head doing the scary sound, he's gonna do the meme funny sound! Definitely an original concept, everybody! I love memes! Tangential cynicism aside, if you want to know more about how much of a menace Trevor Henderson really is to the planet, you should check out this video made by a popular YouTuber much better at describing things than me, unfortunately, called Solar Sand. But in this video, I'm gonna focus on one particular creature living rent-free in my head and somehow still hasn't received a single noise complaint. Now, who could that possibly be? The man walking around with his face upside down? and nobody noticing? A starving emo camel wannabe that thinks the Sahara Desert is up in Greenland or something? The anthropomorphic cat inspired by a cartoon legend who, in its debut episode, kills itself by inhaling toxic gas? Nah, I'm not gonna be talking about the cat today, but what I am gonna be talking about today is this unique little jackass that has come to this world to be known as Long Horse. Dear God almighty, oh, man, are you making a video dedicated to me? Horseman Joe? Yep, that's me. I thought me. you were supposed to be stolen by a bunch of idiot children. Why do you have to come back and embarrass me like this? Hey, I just overheard you over yonder talking about making a little horse video, and I felt like maybe I should... No, the video's not about you, ass face. Oh, well, I reckon I should apologize for bothering oh you. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a more depressing version of Cal Chuchesta. What kind of idiot would make a video about somebody as unappealing and uninteresting as you? Uh, you really started to make me tear up a little. I didn't need to hear that. Yes, you did, jackass. It's called a freaking reality check. If you want to make a video about yourself, go do it yourself. Really? Can I do it on your second channel? You know what? Go ahead. Ha ha ha! yippee ki yay yippee ki yay The world's gonna know what I have to say! Jesus Christ, that was a monumental amount of cringe. It could really make a man lose control over his own temperament. Me 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 For some reason, the look of this thing really pisses me off! If I manage to witness this inferior little chunk of calcium drag itself into one of my precious nightmares, I will grab it by the mouth and use it as a whip to eliminate my enemies. And absolutely nothing will stop me, not even my subconscious mind in charge of operating these dreams. I think. Oh my god, why do I hate this thing so much? But who exactly is Longhorse? Well, it is safe to say that Longhorse is one of the more creative creations of Trevor Henderson. Basically, it's a skeletal horse head with this neck that allegedly goes on forever. Even though its neck looks like solid bone, Longhorse can break it willingly and replace it with a joint to change direction, look around, etc. Every part of its neck is susceptible to this neck breaking and joint creating behavior and it performs this pretty normally. Kind of like gathering a giant crowd of people in SCP-173's containment cell and telling them all to close their eyes. But instead of 173 breaking multiple different necks, it's just breaking multiple parts of one neck. Which becomes even more unsettling when taking in the fact that every time something snaps, a cracking sound is heard. And that's how you know it's close by. With birds, it's chirping. With dogs, it's barking. With long horse, it's putting a microphone up close to a person hanging himself, looped over and over again in inconsistent intervals. Bulls, 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 bulls. Guys, I have a serious question. Did long horse's counselor successfully teach him how to cope with all his pain and misery, or is this guy a threat to the planet? Actually, I already know the answer to that question, and it's like so obvious to me, unlike you double-digit IQs. Because not only do I proudly look down upon Upon this inferior little skeleton snake, but as a person who has dealt with a lot of pain in the past and has performed many stupid mistakes because of that, I can assure you that this bonehead is the bad guy. There is no possible way Long Horse is better at coping with pain and misery than me. What kind of Jesus Christ clone is gonna constantly put up with breaking its neck and still have the guts to strike a positive influence on today's society? Like, I bet out of jealousy, this monster straightens its neck and impales people living with happy families. Wait, why do all these comments on all the fake Long Horse sighting videos always say something along the lines
lines of do not be scared long horse actual good guy and you stupid don't know long horse trying to warn you why he no pat the long horse he big buddy You dumb idiots, all of you people are fools for believing that a horse who keeps breaking its neck is able to deal with his pain in a positive way. L let me just pop this up right now. This post is going to tell us all the important details that describe Longhorse, such as how it's a horrifying monster. It smells like cinnamon? Yeah. That could be used to learn its prey or something. Curious nature? Yeah. Curious to find out what innocent human to kill next. Its neck bends like a finger and makes new joints at will? Yeah. Um, yeah, I already went over that. Uh, long horse is bad. Non-hostile, though its appearance often precedes disasters of misfortune. Um, 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 um. That may sound like this guy is trying to warn us of disasters in the near future, but I could assure you he is absolutely a curse and is absolutely not going out at night trying to protect us. No, he's better coping with pain and misery than me. That doesn't make any sense. No. Hello everybody and welcome back to our fantastic show called uh, Reading the Comment Section and Finding Something Funny. Ha ha, let's get to it. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on Long Horse. Ha, huh, I wonder where he was before 9-11. Ha, huh, you guys like my 9-11 joke? It's so funny. I am such a great reader. This comment seems pretty epic. Let's read what it says. Long Horse, oh hi, runs away like a little girl. Long Horse, wait, Siren Head is out. Man dies from Siren Head. Long Horse, there. Ha ha, that is such a great comment. I'm gonna give the, I'm gonna give this comment a, a 7.5 out of 10. Here's another one about Long Horse. Man, nervous crying emoji. Long Horse, there's a man with a new guy outside. Oh, 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 that is a really funny comment, and it makes me happy knowing that there are funny comments in the world. Here's another funny comment. Hey man, your free Disney Plus trial is about to expire. Oh, oh, oh that's like a reference to a monopoly, like an international corporation. Here's another one that seems pretty cool. Oh man, runs away like a degenerate. Long Horse. Oh my God, stop being a pussy. I'm here to help you. You've just now gone in like four different directions in the pursuit of comedy, horror, trolling, comedy again. Like, what are you doing? Is this some sort of experimental compilation of all the different characters you've conducted online just to hide from the fact that you don't think you have a consistent online persona? Like, I understand you're still learning and all, but the clock is ticking. That's what I'm here for. The clock is ticking. I know your main goal is to make good content, but if you continue this trend of not being transparent with your audience, people will see right through that and start to ignore your content just because it's your content. Like, for example, take a look at what's going on with that political meme guy right now. You like that political meme guy until recently, right? Yeah, as it turns out, making content for the sole purpose of trying vehemently to appease your audience comes off as condescending. So don't be a hypocrite and start doing that too, attention deficit. Wow, that was an incredibly funny comment. All right, that's gonna be the end of our show today. 